actually this is the this is what that's the question which must be answered and this is the question that everyone must ask why Morgan Comish this time around the man who has stood so firm with, Morgan, with President Morgan Shangrai with, with MDC and with the struggle for the liberation of the, of the Zimbabweans why now something big should have happened when the least expected person finally talks out or stands up against the system people must develop interest and people must actually try their best to understand what went wrong uh, other than accusing that person blaming that person calling names this is what people should actually question I have been very loyal to the struggle, loyal to my president Mungen Changirai. I put my life below, before the guillotine for the struggle. Remember, I was arrested in 2007 and served almost six months in prison. I was arrested again in 2013 and spent 100 days in Chukurubi. I was arrested again in 2018. And was fined. I was actually found guilty by the courts. All these are examples of a person who has been paid to fight for the struggle, who has been very loyal. But doesn't necessarily mean that loyal people don't see wrong things. The problem with the loyal people is that they try to advise inside. They identify problems because they want to be constructive. They will talk to their leaders and they give them time. Lower people have got patience. I'm such kind of a person who is so patient, who takes so much time to interact with the leader, interact with many people in order to resolve problems. I've done that during Morgan Shangri's time. I could advise him, we could differ with him, I could differ with him, but at the end of the day, we would come down together and get a solution to any problem that would have happened in the country or any part. The same thing also, I tried the same thing with the then president of MDC, Nelson Jamisa. It was not easy. I'm just among the few that have managed to stand up against uh, that kind of leadership. Probably I've just shown the brevity of a person who does not tolerate governance but many others feel the same way but they, they might not be able to talk they might not be able to come out and criticize the leadership but right but, but right right inside their own hearts they are feeling some pain which we are trying to correct however the fundamental issue really here besides the other issues that people can talk about is uh, the respect of our party constitution, the MDC constitution, which has been violated right and center, violated in so many areas. You remember when President Morgan Shangirai appointed the vice president, it was challenged in courts in 2017. The court did not manage to get onto the merits of the case. Uh, the Murimoga case was thrown out of the window because it had technical, technical defects, but the merits were not attended to. But it was challenged. It was again a constitutional uh, interpretation uh, challenge. When it came to 2018, after the demise of our late President Shangirai, we, we went through a process of looking for a successor. It was again challenged by some of our cadres that you do not respect the constitution. These were discussions that were taking place inside. Chakapu is at Zimbabwe Teng. You want to be constructive by engaging inside the organization. You advise the leadership inside the organization that let's respect the constitution of the party. Let's go for the Exodus Congress and elect a new leader. 
However, it's not all of you who will agree. Some will have their own interpretation of the Constitution. Again, a dispute arose, which then was taken to court. It was presented to the High Court, and the judgment was given. Again, discussions were done. Now that the High Court has ruled in favor of us going to the external Congress, can we not do, can we not go there and resolve this problem once and for all? So that we can avoid to be taken to court every time. In our discussions, we raised this issue. Sir. The High Court judgment was so clear, because the High Court judgment simply repeated what our part constitution said, says, whenever you look for a successor of the president, you go, the acting president acts, and uh, within 12 months of period, you call for the external Congress and elect the replacement of the president. That was not done. Instead, the National Council did that job for the external Congress, which was unconstitutional. So the, the pronouncement by the High Court that it was unconstitutional is correct, because we did not do it. I don't know what we feared. I don't know why you avoided it. I don't know. We should have simply followed our constitution. So our constitution has not been followed. This is where the conflict has uh, come from. Because we believe in constitutionalism, some of us. We believe in democracy. We believe in the rule of law. We believe in justice among key uh, values of our, key core values of our organization. And we want to portray or protect the image of the organization. Why was MDC formed? The MDC was formed to fight the ZANU-PF government, because the ZANU-PF government did not respect constitutionalism, because the ZANU-PF government did not respect the rule of law. The ZANU-PF government did not respect justice and democracy and human rights. They did not respect. And they were formed to fight for those things. So which therefore means, as MDC, we must be smart in those areas. We must not be criticized in those areas. We must not be found wanting in those areas because our purpose would come to an extinct. Because it would be very difficult for MDC to stand up and say, you are not democrat. When the internal processes of MDC are not democrat. It won't be fair to say, ED, you don't respect the constitution of the country. When the internal process of MDC we don't respect our own part constitution. It won't be fair that it, it, you don't respect the rule of law. When MDC is known of, for, for not respecting the rule of law. And it won't be fair for us to say MDC, you don't respect the justice, the, you, you, don't, you, you, you lack justice in the country. When our members themselves are, are calling for, for justice. So these are fundamental issues and fundamental differences which has created the so-called two camps in MDC. The people that strongly believe in the rule of law, good governance, and the people that don't care about the good governance, people that would care about the popularity issues, people that would care about power issues, people that would probably have the Machiavellian uh, 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 principles, which were saying, no, why are we rushing? Let us correct ourselves. The order is very simple from the Supreme Court. Go back as MDC family. Go and organize your internal process, particular internal processes. Go to the external Congress in the elected unity. <laughs> and which therefore gives, which also gives the chance to uh, Nelson Chamisa to come to the external. Fairly elected. If he's fairly elected constitutionally, all of us will support him. He will be our leader. But it must be through a proper process, a constitution in MDC. It must be through proper democratic processes of MDC, so that at least whoever comes out is undisputed. And we'll have sanitized the accusations and allegations that were being pended with.